So Nathaniel, what do you have here? A tree. Yeah. Did you? It has any problem. There's your chainsaw. Yeah? Just put it down. Wow. And what are we going to use it for? Kindling. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like to break it up. I like to get some kindling from God's forest, you see. Dear Jesus makes the great big trees and helps me use them up. Nice work there, Nathaniel. I only can get this one. Do you want to put it out on the porch? Where, where do you think we should put it? What do you think, Andrew McGee? I think we need to yeah. bring it up and kindle. It's been a long time since we've done a story time with A&N &N video. But we thought this tree was just a great thing to share with everybody. Hey, Andrew. Look, Mommy's taking a video. Can you sing a song for me? Really? Really? <laughs> yep. So the boys want to measure how long it is. Can you help? Have Andrew hold one end of it. Andrew, hold the end for brother. Hold it on the end. Almost there. Almost there. Let's see. Okay, I think you made it. Let's put it right here at the end. Right there. Okay, how long is that? Let's see. That is seven feet and about seven and a half inches. Great. Or 90, about 91 inches all total. It's a pretty long tree there, Nathaniel. Yeah. Yep. So we've got a book that we got at the library this week that we wanted to yeah. share with you. It's called yeah. One More Acorn. Acorn. It's by Don Freeman and Roy Freeman. Early one morning in the city of Washington, D.C., a lively gray squirrel named Earl looked out of his treehouse and blinked his eyes. Winter would soon be here, and Earl knew it was time to go and find the acorns he had stored away last summer. Earl scampered out of his treehouse. The grass in Lafayette Square was nearly covered with a light layer of leaves. By now the sun had risen, and all the other squirrels were scurrying around trying to find their hidden acorns. Earl sniffed and snuffed and dug until suddenly his tail began to twitch and twirl. He found his first acorn of the day. He turned the acorn around and around, then packed it into his cheek. Soon he was ready to search for more tasty treasures. Within a short while, he found three more acorns. Earl's cheeks were full, and it was time to bring his acorns home. Away he raced to his treehouse. <gasps> Look at that. Now you can see why Earl needed to hurry. He had a hungry, furry family to feed. Thank you, Papa, said his older son, Hickory. Thank you, Papa, said his younger son, Filbert. Crunch, 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 said his lady daughter, Hazel who was too little to talk. Well done, my dear, said their mother. Down the tree, Earl climbed again to search for more acorns. Then all at once, he sat up on his haunches and looked around. He thought to himself, I wonder now, where did I hide that great big acorn last summer? Earl ran to the edge of the sidewalk. This was the right direction, wasn't it? Then he remembered. He'd hidden the big acorn on the other side of this wide avenue. Today, the street was filled with cars and trucks and people riding bicycles. Could Earl make it across safely? Hmm. He looked left, he looked right, and he looked left again. His tail twitched and twirled. Across the avenue, he dashed like a furry flash. Once on the other side, Earl hesitated. People were unfurling colorful flags and tying them to lampposts. Even a squirrel could tell that a very special celebration was happening that day. But Earl had important things to do. He had a hungry, furry family to feed, and without waiting, he ran through an open gate, which is something not every visitor can do, you may be certain. Earl bounded straight toward the Washington Monument. 
The area around the monument was very crowded. What are all these people doing? Earl wondered. Are they all looking for acorns? Earl searched and searched, dodging men in big work boots and women in sharp, shiny sharp shoes. But nowhere in this space could he find a trace of all of his old tracks or the scent of an acorn. While he was busily sniffing, he heard the gleeful voices of boys and girls. Wherever there were children, Earl knew that something was good was bound to happen. Come along now, boys and girls. Finish up. It's time to get ready, their teacher called. Maybe the children were all bent over, looking for ache, digging in the ground. Maybe they're looking for acorns, too, thought Earl. Then one of the children did find an acorn. Earl's acorn! It was just the one he'd been searching for. Before the boy could pick it up, Earl raced over. His tail twitched and twirled. Do you want this acorn, asked the boy. That's okay, you can have it. Well, I'm glad to hear it, Earl thought, since it was my acorn to begin with. Just then, Earl heard a shrill voice. When teachers get need to say something, they can get loud. Hurry along, we're leaving right now. Good luck, the boy said to Earl. I have to go. Maybe we'll see each other again one day. Then he ran off to join the rest of his class. Earl bounded through the gate and ran until he came to the big street. But look, the avenue was full of people and floats. It was a parade. I'll never get across now, he thought. Earl climbed a tree to see how long the parade was, and then he scampered along the branch overlooking the street. Oh, no, it goes on forever, Earl thought. But just then he saw someone who looked familiar. Now Earl, now Earl knew just what to do. He used the children's hands and he bounded across the street. After a short rest to catch his breath, Earl bounded home to his family. He took the big acorn out of his mouth and said, Look what I brought back for you. Thank you, Papa, said his older son, Hickory. Thank you, Papa, said his younger son, Filbert. <laughs> said his baby daughter, Hazel, who was too little to talk. Well done, my dear, said their mother. One More Acorn by Don Freeman. Thanks for joining us today. Good bye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Come back again, we'll see you soon. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I lost the wood down. Oh, good. Andrew, can you say bye? Bye. Andrew, can you say please? Please. Can you say thank you? Thanks. Can you say Jesus? Jesus. You say amen? Amen. Good job, buddy. Andrew's learning a lot more words. We hope everyone has a good day. And Nathaniel, can you say bye?